I'll be teaching you how to sew this beautiful bubu kaftan. Is I'll call it a shift bubu kaftan gown, and it has puff sleeves. It has ruffles at the center front and on the neckline. So stay tuned to the end of this tutorial. So to start up this tutorial, we are using a uh, three yards of chantilly lace, and I'm using doll face satin fabric to line it. So I'm going to draft on the doll face satin fabric first before we line it with the chantilly lace. So here is my doll face satin fabric. I also got three yards for it. So I will go ahead to fold it. So I folded it with my hip divided by four. I added uh, about six inches to it. So after folding, I'm going to secure with my pins. I just cut out that piece I want to work on for the front piece. So you secure it with your pin as you can see. So the first thing I'm going to do is to rule my border line. I'm going to rule my border line, then I'll begin to take my measurements accordingly. So that is my starting point. I'm going to place my tape right there on the starting point and I'll measure my chest line at 9 inches. Your chest line is your bust divided by 6 plus 1.5. Then I mark my waist at 17, the hip at 26, and the full length. I'm using 60 inches for the full length, but what I have on this fabric is just 57 inches. So I'll use it like that and the lace will cover the rest of it. So my shoulder is 8 inches. I added half an inch, making it 8 and half. So I marked 8 and half and came down by 1 inch. The neckline I'm using here, I used 3 and half inches. So you can make it 4 inches, but I used 3 and half. So I came down with the back with 1 inch because the back is... A high neck then I took three and a half also three and a half inches for the neck depth so after marking the neckline I proceeded to mark the shoulder seam line I'm going to connect it to the to my chest line right now so I'll get the mid arm hole so what I have there is 4 inches I'll mark and I'll come in by half an inch. So I'm going to connect that half an inch to the shoulder tip like this. Then on the chest line we are going to take the bust measurement. The bust measurement divided by 4 is 10 inches. I'll mark I add 2 inches. I added 2 inches. Then I'm going to mark out the armhole for the back and for the front. So after marking that point, I'll go over to the waistline. I'm going to mark waist divide by 4. I have 9 inches. I added 2.5 inches. 2.5 inches for both ease and seam line. Then on waist, I marked my hip divide by 4 and added 3 inches. So what I got on the on the hem, I'll add uh, my hip divided by 4, added 7 inches on the hem. So I'm going to connect all these lines accordingly. From the bust line to the waistline, I'm going to connect. And from the waistline to the hip, I'm going to connect. Then this is an A-line gown, okay? So this A-line gown, I'm going to use a long ruler to connect it to that uh, seven inches i added to my hip on the hem so you connect it that way so now we are going to cut out what we have on the front piece then we are going to use this front piece to cut the back piece so i've already folded my back piece and i added one one inch for my zipper so i'm going to bring in the dress so we'll bring in the dress and place it the center front exactly at the center back which is the one inch zipper allowance 
So I'll go ahead to secure it with my pin nicely. So I'll secure it with my pin very, very well. So we'll begin to cut out the back piece. All right, here I have it now. So I'm going to make an extension on the waist line, on the neckline and on the waistline. So you make an extension to touch the zipper line on the hip line or the extension, just extend them. So that is my waistline. So I'm going to contour the waistline for the back. So I'll contour it with one inch, one inch. So I'll go in from the zipper line with one inch. So you go in by one inch and then connect from that one inch to nothing on the hip and to nothing on the neckline of course you we've been doing this in this um, channel so here is my contour line so i'm going to cut out that part because of zipper board then replace it on this side so here is it i replaced it on this side i marked what i have there just about 0 0.25 i'll also replace it on the chest line and reconnect that line so for the hip, I connected nothing. So it goes into the hip that way. So we are done. Next is to add half an inch on the shoulder seam line for seam allowance. So I just add half an inch. So we are going to cut what we got right here. I'll go ahead to cut it off. So I will cut, I'm cutting the lines that are outside, which is the back line. All the lines that are outside is the back line. So I'll just go ahead and cut them off. And all the lines we have on the, okay, I'm cutting off the contour line. So I'm going to separate the back right now. So we'll be able to cut the front. I'll separate the back then move over to the front so here is my front as you can see so I'll just go ahead and cut out that piece I added because of the back and now I'm going to cut the neckline for the back okay sorry my camera was not showing at this point so I just cut out the front piece and set it aside so we'll begin to lay our laces on top of it now so i'll bring in my chantley lace and i'm going to place it on top of it so i'll go and cut following the shape of the doll face so after cutting i cut the back and secured it with pins so i'm going to put my back together so i'll be able to sew the zipper so this is the center back I'm trying to arrange right now. So I'm going to arrange it very, very nicely. So we'll be able to go ahead to sew the zipper. So that is it. So I'm, I placed my zipper to mark the point at which I'm going to stitch. Then after marking where my zipper stops, then I'm going to sew from that point. I'll mark one, one inch down. So you can secure it with your pin. Very important because we have the doll face and the chantley lace together. So I just mark one one inch like that all the way down. So I'm going to stitch right now. So after stitching, okay, I'm marking, I'm still marking the points I'm going to stitch. So I measured my zipper to be sure. 
so i'm marking one one inch that's what i'm trying to do all this way so i'll go ahead and stitch right now so after stitching i put my zip so i left these damp parts i separated the doll face and the chandelier lace don't sew them together we will stitch them separately at that point so after that i bring in my front piece because we want to create the design so you put it and get the center you put it together get your center front line so i'm going to measure where the ruffles will stop so the ruffles will stop this is my chest line it will stop at the waist line then you create a chalk line so that is where we are going to sew the ruffles from the neck to the waist line so i will cut out the scallops so this gently lace looks um, somehow if you know much about it so just go ahead and take your time and cut out the scallops on the lace so i cut out the scallops and i have two of them so i'll put the two together i'm going to put the scallops together so after putting it together i'll either ruffle it on the line this way we have so many ways of ruffling it you can go by this method of ruffle you can also decide to run a gather stitches on it so for me i ran a gather stitches on my own so i'll just go ahead and gather so i've gathered and this is what i got so i stitched on it so we are going to join the shoulder seam lines right now so you join the shoulder together after joining it give it a good press then we are going to take the measurement of what we have on our neckline round so whatever you have on your neckline round multiply it by two inches or you multiply by 2.5 if you want much ruffle so i've already cut out the length i got and i'm going to ruffle it in now so this is my ruffle so i'm going to sew the ruffle from the back to the other back so after sewing the ruffles this is what i got so now i'm going to pipe it i'll pipe the neckline using my dolphin satin fabric the width is 1.5 and the length is the length i measured on the neckline so i'll just fold it in and stitch half an inch first so i'm stitching it right side to the wrong side then i'll flip it of course you know how to pipe just like uh, bias but this time around we are doing it in the opposite direction so after piping i'm going to sew the size of this dress so i'm going to put the armhole together and stitch so after stitching the sides this is what i got right here so next is to prepare the sleeve so here my sleeve i'm cutting at three quarter three quarter so and i'm going to measure the length of um, 10 inches from the tip of the sleeve 10 inches i'll mark then mark 15 inches so the ruffles is going or the puff will be between 10 inches and 15 inches of my sleeve then i'll make notches on them so i have my both sleeves right there so i put them together to be able to make the notches so the notches is going to guide me when i make creating the ruffles so here is it so i'm going to measure what i have on that line of ruffles so i'll be able to know so this is my front sleeve i'm trying to mark it so you take your measurement there i have 16 inches so my ruffles um the length is uh, at 20 the length of the sleeve is 20 so i've already placed my lace on top of it so i got 35 inches length and the width is 8 inches the width of this ruffle is 8 inches and the length is 35 so i've ruffled it in placing the doll face satin fabric on it so i'll bring in the sleeve now and this is my i'm trying to separate my sleeve anyway because they are two pieces so i'll first sew the first one and i'll show you how to sew the second one so we'll go back to the machine now to sew so on the machine so you can see the notches so you first 
flip this one on the part of the of the uh, sleeve the upper part of the sleeve so just make sure you follow these lines and keep ruffling it you can see how i placed it so i will be ruffling it on a straight line don't miss the line just keep ruffling it on that straight line so i brought my camera a little bit closer for you to see what i'm doing very clearly so this is the first ruffle can you see how i flipped it so now i'm going to close it up this way so you can see how it's supposed to be but now this part is going to be difficult somehow so you are going to invert it you turn it and sew from the inside i believe you saw what i did there i inverted it to stitch but this time around to sew it from the inside so you keep pushing the sleeve but make sure you sew on the line you keep pushing the sleeve so we are just sewing it in the inner piece so it's not going to be visible so you can see how i'm doing that so after that i'll go ahead and cut out so you can see how i did it and this is the sleeve so the other i will turn the other part because you can't sew on one side completely so you have to sew a little on one side and finish it up on the other side so I believe this part is not too fast for you to see. So you can see what I'm doing there. I'm trying to bend it this other way. So I'll keep stitching till I get, I meet the other stitching I, I stitched earlier. So you keep struggling with it. I call it struggle because um, it's not the normal stitching method. You have to you know so here i'll now put the parts together the ends ruffle them together and stitch then close up the side of your sleeve so here i'm done closing up the side of my sleeve and you can see what i got right here so this is actually looking so beautiful so we'll move ahead to attach this sleeve you attach it right now and that is it so i'll put it inside my sleeve and match shoulder seam line to shoulder seam line and stitch so you can see our dress is ready and that is how we'll come to the end of this tutorial so i believe this training was uh, helpful to you so if this video is helpful to you i would like to have your comment on the comment section kindly subscribe and turn on your notification bell for more videos thank you